All right, so I'm at Beagle Camp on the Shenandoah. I figure this is a good time to show you what's in the pack since everybody keeps asking. I'm kind of smoked, so forgive me if I slip on this Gatorade. All right, uh, the front pocket, this big mesh thing. I keep an empty Gatorade bottle so I don't have to leave my tent at night. Boom. This is a man trick. Uh, a little hat in case it rains. My rain gear works better with a hat, so I wear that. Um, rain poncho or uh, rain jacket by Z Packs. Um, their Ventrum, Ventrum one. And then the Z Packs pants, Ventrum one. I have a cowboy, um, a cowboy camping uh, ground cloth for shelters and for cowboy camping. Uh, a little bit of fuel. Doesn't matter which, I can use the small one. And uh, let's see here. This is my pot. Kind of had to piece this together. It's um, ever new pot with a good lid. Has a wide bottom, so there's no. F the narrow pots have a lot of heat that gets lost over top. So I like this, and it's big enough to cook ramen in. So that's all I really need. And it's two cups, so I can use any dehydrated meal. Two cups of water. You can just boil water and throw it in there. It's pretty easy. A little bit of ShamWow for a uh, towel. Forgive me, I'm at the gap and this car is coming by. And uh, here's my stove. Now I know everybody goes for the BRS 3000, but I'm not game for that. This is like two ounces more, I don't know. But it's really super quiet. It's the Soto Windmaster. I love the stove. It has its own piezo igniter. It doesn't break. All the other piezo igniters go on the outside. That little ceramic um, insulation cracks off. This one goes right up the middle of the stem. It doesn't make any sound whatsoever. And you can simmer, you can you can boil, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. It's a pretty excellent stove. Of course, it comes with the little uh, pot stand for the top. And uh, I carry a little, even though I never use this, it's one of those little hot lips so you can put it on your titanium pot and drink your coffee out of it without burning your lips. I don't know. I don't use it. Um, titanium cools so fast, as fast as it heats up. So usually just wait a second. It's ready to go. So... That's my stove, and uh, this kit works pretty good. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it, never had any problems with the stove, and I've been using it for a while now, a couple of years now. Uh, so that's the stove. Let me put this crap back. I know, don't you hate when people do reviews and they put everything back in front of you? It takes so much time, but I am still hiking, so I am putting it back so I don't lose anything. Okay. So that's the front pocket, side pockets. This one I carry my Sawyer uh, water filter and a two liter C-Knock bag. I only ever carry one liter, um, but sometimes I put an extra liter in here if it's really hot. If it gets above 90, I double up my water. So this is the filter everybody uses mostly. It's about three ounces. It lasts for a long time. The other ones kind of, I think, are fragile and break, but if you're gonna be hiking for a long time, this is the one to get. And uh, this little two liter bag, which is awesome, is this top part comes off and uh, you can scoop water out of a shallow stream. You don't have to wait all day to let it dribble in this little hole like you do with the Sawyer one. So this is the C-Knock one. This is, I think is the best one on the market. I put this little string on here. So uh, it's a lot of times the water holes are down a big hill or something. So I'll just put it around my neck and use my trekking pole. So that's the water filter. In this pocket, I keep, uh, I'll show you, toilet paper, a little trail bidet to do trail bidet things, a little tiny titanium shovel. I really don't use this. I use my trekking pole and bury it and then throw some rocks on top of it. So you pick your own method. Um, and a couple wet wipes. Because uh, wet wipes got to do what wet, 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 wet wipes got to do. It's like uh, <laughs> after you hike all day and you're in your tent, the wet wipes are like your shower. Um, my phone in the pack, I've got a Garmin and uh, just my water bottle, nothing else. And then in my pockets, I have uh, some Jolly Ranchers, uh, my glasses case with some cleaning stuff for it. It's really light, it's like a mouse. Um, today's day and age. Every now and then someone wants you to wear a mask at a hostel, so hey, I'm a polite person. And uh, a cliff bar. So that's all I have in there. Um, those Jolly Ranchers are looking freaking pretty delicious right about now, so I'm going to get up on those in a minute. 
and uh, my other belt pouch. Oh, my backpack weighs about 16 ounces with all the pockets and stuff that are on it. It's a Z-Pack Nero. Um, so in this pocket I have my Apple earbuds, um, something that's legal in Virginia, uh, some uh, Purell. Um, I take blood pressure medications, a couple other things, and su supplements. So this tells me what day of the week it is because you don't know out here. Every day is a Saturday. Um, some bug juice. This is Picardin. I hardly ever use it. Uh, headlamp this is a one ounce headlamp. This is the uh, Nightcore NU25, I believe. It's like an ounce. This is the only kni knife I carry. This little tiny Swiss Army knife. This is it. Um, no weapons. This is it. Um, extra cap to clean my Sawyer filter with because it requires cleaning. Um, some lip balm slash uh, sunblock. It does both. And an extra lighter. So that's what I keep in that pocket. And uh, let's show you what's in the pack. This is going to be a long video, huh? Breaking a record on this one. All right, so this is my sit pad. Uh, I mostly use it as a doormat outside my tent, so when I scoot out my tent, I can put my butt on this before I get up. But that's about it. So, here's my pack. Simple clips up top and roll down. It's nothing fancy. And uh, here's my ditty bag. I don't have a lot of pouches like everyone else. I just have like... Just my only little bag of stuff. So here's what I have: my charging gear and uh, my toiletries. I keep a well. I guess everybody wants to know, so you might as well know. I keep a little comb. I keep a little toothbrush. I keep a little thing of toothpaste. And since you gotta look good all the time, I keep a little bit of hair product. I know. Gotta be vain somewhere. That's my. Uh, <laughs> it's my luxury item. That and my pad pump. So that's my toiletries, right there. And uh, this is my first aid repair kit. Um, it's, there's like a lot of little stuff in here. I don't wanna take it out, but my tent repair and gear repair kit and f general first aid items are in here. Uh, Apple cord for my phone. I made a pad pump. I got rid of the battery and I soldered a USB-C cable onto the battery terminals in this so this weighs 1.8 ounces and I don't have to charge it I just can use it right on my battery pack so if I want to use it I just plug it into my battery pack turn it on. and my pad pump uh, gets pumped up and I don't have to waste 25 breaths on an extra large long uh, thermorest uber light pad so that's nice a little charging thing it helps to have this folding stuff and it has two ports on it for USB-C so that's nice it's a RAV power I believe oh and the Battery pack is a Nightcore, it's 5.28 ounces. This is a Nightcore 10 milliamp one. Really good, I have no problems with it. It weighs nothing. Um, so that's that. Here's another, this is my general medication. Uh, you know, I take supplements because my diet sucks on the trail and I have high blood pressure. So this is usually six, six weeks worth of stuff. So I have a lot of these sitting at home. So if I want to go anywhere, I just put however appropriate many in six weeks into my suitcase or backpack and I hit the road. So these are handy. The only thing I have to get mailed to myself is this every six weeks. So that's cool. And it's not a pressing matter. And I have a USB-C charging cable. So let me put all this crap back in here. That's all of my ditties. I know everyone carries a lot of ditty bag stuff, but that's it. And I have just, I have more than enough, I think. Part of coming out here is to simplify your life. You know what I mean? So this is what you do out here. Simplify things. You find you don't need that much. So that's my ditty bag. I'm gonna roll that up and show you the next item. Um, I have a Z-Pax Ultraplex. It's like 15 and a half ounces. Uh, it's for a tall person like me, I'm uh, 6'1". I used to be 6'2", but I had a bunch of spine surgeries, so now 6'1". So anyways, and the tent poles are the East, Eastman uh, Nanos. Uh, they're hard to find, but they're the best in the market. They're strong, I never had a problem. I carry 10 of those, this whole setup weighs Oh, the tent weighs 15 and a half, and I probably another two ounces for the steak. So, so you know, 17 and a half, 18 ounces for a house. It's not too bad. Here's my food bag. I only have like two days worth of food in it right now, so it's nothing much. 
So this is just the, oh, I have to show you a couple items in here, I guess. I keep in here, this Hilltop's uh, bear bag is awesome because there's a little pouch in it. You can keep your spoon. This is my little simple bamboo spoon and a bear bag hanging kit. I don't use it. I sleep with my um, my food. I've slept with my food all, all my life. I've never had any problems. Um, but when I'm at a shelter, I do put it in the bear facilities just because I don't want to have the, the cause of someone else getting mauled because I have food laying out. But when do you stealth camp all alone? The bears don't usually go to the alone spots. They know where the shelters are and they kind of want to go in there and get that food. So I don't have problems. The only time I've ever seen anyone have problems with their food bag is when they've hang, hung it. It's like the squirrels and chipmunks get at it. So it is what it is, right? So I keep mine in the tent. And I have a bag liner, a Z-Pack, like a 1.6 ounce pack liner for the Z-Pack Nero. So this is my pack liner. Uh, this is all my clothes. I don't have any other clothes but what's in this, and I'll take you through it. Um, this is this mosquito net head. This is a head net. Uh, you put it over your head when you have mosquitoes, so dual purpose. It's also a freaking awesome pillow. I sleep in this outdoor research. It's about three and a half ounces, four ounces. So this is what I sleep in. It also has a backup shirt. Um, I sleep in these um, Kiyu, um Peloton zip-off pants. They zip off so you can put them under your shorts in the morning and just take them off. These weigh like four ounces, so these are like awesome. I also have a KUIU, K -U -I -U, I can't pronounce it, it's KUIU, I believe. Um, I think it's the Peloton or whatever, the uh, hoodie. This thing is like four ounces, so yeah, maybe five, sorry, five, five ounces. Um, my jacket, my puffy is not really a puffy, it's just a uh, Enlightened Equipment um, a torrid apex vest, no hood. This is a summer month, so this is good for spring and stuff. I've never even worn it. It's never been cold enough to wear it, but I keep it because it's light and it makes my pillow awesome. Uh, I have uh, Z-Pax rain mitts. I never wear them. They're so light though. And I keep these Kiyu, you can operate your phone, Kiyu gloves. They're like 0.2 ounces or something incredible. So this whole setup doesn't cost me much weight. I keep it here because one time I had frozen hands and these little Z-Pax mitts were awesome, but that was years ago. I haven't used them since. I probably shouldn't either carry. Uh, and I have a little Kiyu hat, which is like 0.2 ounces. And then I have this Kiyu buff, which I never use, which is 0.2 ounces or 0.3 ounces or something really light. Um, since I only have one pair of socks for hiking, I being a nice extra thick pair of sleeping socks, and these are the Wooly Bullies. I just sleep in these, and if something happened to my socks and I need a pair of backup hiking socks, I could use these. That's never happened. I'll hike in wet socks and shoes. I don't really care. Um, and the last thing is something I picked up from a buddy of mine who left the trail. Big ups to uh, Honey Badger. He, he, uh, he hooked me up with these one ounce uh, shorts, so when I'm washing all my clothes, I don't, don't have to be naked in my hotel room waiting for clothes to finish. So that is my clothes bag. Very simple, this whole thing weighs nothing. I don't even know if there's barely a pound of clothes in here. And this is all I need. And the clothes I have on is, I have a hoodie for hiking and a shorts for hiking, socks and shoes, which you saw me wearing already. So that's the clothing bag. And now for the piece de resistance. My sleeping bag, it's um underground quilt, underground uh, um, U, uh, a UGQ Bandit XL, long, wide. Um, it has a 950 fill and 10 denier on the outside and inside. Um, it weighs, and keep in mind, this is a, 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 a extra large uh, or extra long wide because I'm a little bigger. So this is 19 ounces, dudes. I mean, what's up? Uh, ladies too 19 ounces for this big ass quilt and when you get to a hostel and they only have a bunkhouse this makes a great bedspread because you can open it up not like a sleeping bag and at night you can zip up the foot box here down here and cinch this cinch tie and it cinches it up and it's a sleeping bag and you can put your feet in here nice and toasty and uh, it converts so that's pretty cool right very light uh what else i have a pillow but i really never use this it's three ounces it's one of those uh sea to summit ultralight uh, large pillows. I mean, I blow it up, but honestly, my clothes bag on top of this pillow is like perfect. Um, and then I have, uh, here's my sleeping pad, it's a Uberlight, um, Thermarest Uberlight with the new valve, which is pretty awesome, but I don't, I don't really don't like this freaking orange thing, but whatever. If you're using a pad pump, it really doesn't matter. And, uh, 
that's it. I do have quilt straps on the bottom of my bag outside of my um, pack liner. But I'm not trying to show you that. Just for, so, so yeah, that's the pack. The whole setup weighs nine pounds, 14 ounces, uh, with three days of water and, or sorry, three days of food and one liter of water. It comes in at like 17 and a half pounds, sometimes eight if I drink some extra spam flashes or something. So, um, and every morning, <laughs> you pack up, you put all your stuff back in your bag in the same exact way so you don't lose anything. I have a system, so I'm going to pack it up when I'm off this thing. So there you go. There's the kit. So, i got to get back hiking. Going to be going up there. This is a little gate for the trail. Appalachian Trail goes up that hill. That's where it'll be next. Peace.